This could be significant or it may not be significant. It could be a, just a point of interest and maybe it has no significance whatsoever. But sometimes I feel that sometimes astrological uh, signs do lead to other events and sometimes they just move the way things are. It's, it's uh, kind of like proven in some ways and in some ways it's been disproven. But eerily, sometimes these things do occur. That's why I do take note when something extraordinary happens. This is the Star of David. Actually, there is. Uh, I'm not well versed in this subject at all, but I just want to point it out as a matter of interest. Today, July 22nd, but also claimed on July 29th, is going to be the astrological alignment of the stars in the form of the Star of David. Doesn't happen very often, and actually, this astrological alignment. It's supposed to actually happen in 2014 and 2015, then not for another 100 years. I am not well versed in this subject because I don't, but I do look at it sometimes because I think it's a point of interest. And sometimes it portends various events and sometimes it does not. But um, considering the things that are going on in the world today, I find this quite interesting. So, um, Basically, just to give you a little gist on this, uh, and I'll point you to the website where this is at, but it goes on to state, very people know this, and you know, this is I agree with this. I think that the ancients knew a lot more than maybe the scientific people today look down at them, and it's like they think that, you know, today it's almost like the Western culture tells you astrology and astronomy is all BS. But I, I'm not quite sure about that because, you know, if we look at some of the events that have occurred over the years, sometimes it's BS and sometimes it's not. And sometimes it's too many times things have occurred during astrological dates that are just eerie, I could say that. So uh, this is an astrological alignment of the star David. Now, some are saying it's July 22nd today. Some are saying it's July 29th. But it's going to occur also, in, I think it's going to be different alignments in 2014 and 2015 that not occur again for 100 years. I don't know what this means exactly, to tell you the truth. But in ancient uh, Hebrew prophets were the greatest astrologers of their time. They believed that God would give them signs to help them know ahead of time whenever something truly important was about to happen. Now, considering possibly where these things can be prophecies. It's not maybe that the stars are aligned. It may be that some people believe that gives them more power to pursue an event or make some wheels move a certain way. That's where sometimes these things probably do play out because it's the human element, the human element. Some people who really believe to have greater effect to put a plan into action, it has to be on an astrological day. That may be the case, and that may be why some things, um, you know, seem to occur on astrological dates and have it's just an eerie coincidence. But there were signs that God would give them the ways to plant. That you know, it goes on to say that God gave them signs by the way the planets were aligned in the skies. Some alignments were signs that good things were about to happen, and other things were different types of alignments of planned. Planets were viewed to be signs of troublesome times, uh, so they found a brilliant way of distinguishing the good signs from the bad ones. Uh, and, you know, some are saying that this July alignment means war. I don't know. You know, this just came to my attention very recently in a matter of you know, because I don't follow this, but the only reason I picked up on this was that my instincts say that. Okay? And I don't know what the deal is with my instincts, but they're not bad. They're not always right, but they're not bad. Uh, so amazingly, they were right about their methods and they still work today. So it's called planet geometry. So. You know, there's an alignment, and I'm not going to get into the actual science behind this, but there's something going on where there's an alignment, a planetary alignment with the Star of David 
that is July 22nd, some say, some say July 29th, and there's also going to be various, I think, alignments in 2014 and 2015 that are not for 100 years. Now, very religious people are saying this could be, you know, the time of tribulation, and I don't know, I mean, I don't know about all that stuff, but I sometimes I look at this because I think there's important people that believe in this and when they make an event happen they might want to do it while they have the best astrological signs going it may not be the astrological signs that are actually uh, causing the event it may be that people who believe in the astrolo astrological signs make their event or plan go into action timed in with these things and you know I actually went on with a couple other things you know we talked about um, one time before and I, I think this was dead on you know 11 years from 911 911 um, 1990 when George Bush made a speech about the New World Order 11 years later 911 2001 uh, there was and also on a Tuesday the day of Mars we had the Twin Towers go down 11 years later 911 Benghazi Benghazi, right? 2012, right? So, I don't want to get into that subject too much, but there's a little bit more to it than you think. So, there could be something with this, and I say it's the human element, it's not the planets that are making it happen, but it's people who believe in the astrology that possibly believe that astrological signs and planetary alignments are the best time to do things or set a planet to motion. So I said something on a previous video, and it had nothing to do with my knowledge about this, because I didn't really know about this when I made that video before, but something just smells a certain way, and uh, that's just my hunch, but my hunches aren't always right, and I do think that this alignment could bring about much more unrest in the Middle East, that's what I'm thinking. So, just take it for what it is. It may just be a BS rumor. It may not be nothing. And it wouldn't be the first time it wasn't nothing. But it is interesting. This does not occur very often. So, like I said, I'm not a believer in this. But I do think that powerful people are believers in this. And they can influence things and make events happen. And they will do it according to the stars. That is why these things sometimes occur according to the stars people make them happen they make them happen that way so just an interesting point the alignment of uh, the star David astrologically either on July 22nd or July 29th and it's going to occur I think in the years 2014 and 2015 so keep that in mind keep that in mind it may not be nothing but uh, my senses say it may be so just go with that